Hello everyone, this is my first makeup tutorial and here's the name of it and without delaying I'm going to jump right into it because I have no opening figure. So my eyelids are primed and everything, I have set them with the powder and yeah, I am jumping into analog and okay, I pointed out at a wrong eyeshadow. Um, so yeah, it's analog from Kat Von D's Maybe the Loka Remix eyeshadow palette and I'm taking it on a blending brush and I'm just placing it into my crease and not really into my socket but mostly into my crease and then I'm slightly dragging it to my socket since I have hooded eyes I do not really want to make it more deep if, if that makes sense yeah so I'm concentrating it on the outer third of my eye instead of dragging it all the way in so yeah that's what i'm doing and just in case if you're wondering that this palette is no longer available then i'm going to mention the eyeshadows that are similar to these colors and i'll mention them into my description box so you can check that out and right now i've just intensified the eyeshadow and blended it out and this is the intensity that i was looking for for my eyeshadow or the crease work as you say of course it took a lot of blending now I'm taking the NYX jumbo eye pencil in the shade black bean and I'm just placing it onto my lid nothing precise I'm just placing some pigment over there and yeah I just need some sort of a base not really like a deep dark pigmented black but just something that is darker than my lid color so I'm just taking a detailer brush from Real Techniques and I am spreading the pigment roughly around my lid area kind of giving it the shape and then I will be jumping into this with a blending brush and kind of diffusing the edges as you can see it is not that pigmented and that's what I was aiming at so yep now that I have diffused the edges I will be jumping straight into the lid color so I'm taking this synthetic round stiff brush and I'll be picking up the color rewind which is a beautiful shimmery burgundy color and I will be placing it onto the base that I laid down so that's what I'll be doing here so I'm just laying it down right there right there yes yes and I'm just spreading it along. I am building this color slowly and then I'm taking it into my socket and not into my crease. I'm taking it to my socket in order to diffuse the lines of the black that I laid down underneath it. And I am putting it little by little so that I get minimum fallout. So that's what I'm doing here again, putting some more of it over there taking it to the socket, diffusing the lines, creating a base for a gradient. Now I am taking a dual-ended Urban Decay Weiss brush and I'm taking the fluffier end and I'm kind of diffusing the rewind into analog, giving it a beautiful gradient effect. So I'm just blending, yeah, and I will be blending some more, and I will be blending some more, as you can see, yeah. And that's where you get this beautiful gradient because you have to blend this out without making it go too far up in the crease. So now quickly I'm jumping into Harpsichord which is a beautiful burnt shimmery orange and I'm going to be placing it in the inner one third of my eye and here I'm just placing it over there. So I don't want to take it into the crease again, I'm just keeping it on my lid area and into the socket and that's where I'm aiming the pigment to stay so here it is the color is really pigmented I did not wet my brush whatsoever with any of these shades now I'm taking it into my inner corner because I wanted the orange to be there and then to my lower lash line and here my battery died for the camera and the lighting changed so again I'm just taking it from there where I left it and now I am going to take some more of Rewind on a pencil brush and placing it directly into the socket to kind of give it a more gradient effect and then blending it with harpsichord. So right now I'm just blending everything together and giving it a sharp edge as you can see. 
Now again with a bending brush and some analog, I am intensifying my crease work and trying to make sure that it is the same as what I've done on my other eye. So here I'm just intensifying it more. Yes, yes, keep doing that. Mm -hmm. Now I'm checking if it's fine and I'm just fixing if I saw something over there. So I'm just fixing it over there and kind of trying to get as close to what I did on the line as possible. So after that, where did I disappear? Oh, that is necessary. That is, when it's your first tutorial, it's necessary. That's not necessary. And now I am taking some more of Rewind on a flat synthetic brush. And I think these brushes are really good if you have to like type line or, you know, place like put the pigment to the lower lash line. And that's what I'm doing. I'm putting Rewind onto my lower lash line, building it up little by little. And I'm not going to drag it all the way to the inner corner, but I'm going to drag it really like more than halfway in. So, yeah. And now I am blending it in with Hartzicord, which I have taken on a pencil brush. So now I think I'll be picking up some analog again. Yes, yes I am. I'm picking up analog on the same brush and I'm going to diffuse this color, these colors, not this, both of them, these colors with this matte shade. I'm kind of mimicking what I did on my upper lid and I'm doing the same on my lower waterline, lash line, anything. And I am just kind of taking it far out. Some people like to keep it closer to their lash line, lower lash line. I'm taking a little far out. So now taking, what am I doing? Literally. Yes. So now I'm taking some more harpsichord on a synthetic detailer brush and I am just intensifying my inner corner. And here I am taking Lyric from the palette which is a beautiful white shimmery eyeshadow with pink reflex and I'm putting it into my inner corner. Nothing too strong because I want the orange to show through. So here. Now I'm going to put some primer onto my lashes, not mascara, lashes. And since I'm not using any full season here, so I think this would be the great thing to do. And this is L'Oreal Falls Lash Superstar Mascara, as you can see here. It has a primer on one end and the mascara on another. So that's a great thing. And my neighbors are watching me right now and I'm feeling really awkward. So now I'm just applying mascara over the primed lashes and to me it's personally really awkward to put mascara on the camera so I'm just trying my best. I'm just trying to do my best and I'm trying to make sure that both the eyes are equal and as similar as possible. So I'm just applying the coat 2, 3, 10, whatever you like you can put it. So yeah, I think now I'm done. And I'm pretty happy with the result. And now I will be taking another mascara from a lower lash line that is Benefit Roller Lash. And I love this mascara. I think it's beautiful. It gives the most natural effect. And I love it. You know? So there's that. And I'm just applying it on my lower lashes because the wand is thin. I'm a little curved, so it's easy to coat my lower lash line with it without getting the mascara everywhere. And <clears throat> after that, oh, okay, that's that's acceptable. Mm -hmm. I don't mind that. Now I'm taking a bronzy um, eye pencil. This is Glide On pencil from LA Girl. Yeah, LA Girl. And I'm just placing it onto my lower waterline. And I'm being gentle, but I mean, yeah. Whenever I do this, my eyes start to water so badly. And this is the shade of this pencil. So now I am tight lining my lash line, not taking it too far in. And on my lower lash line or water line, I'm just taking it right into my inner corner. Like not into, but a little, you know what I mean. You saw what I did. 
So now I'm taking a flat blending brush and I'm taking the color Skulls, which is a plain white shimmery eyeshadow. It's beautiful. And I'm placing it onto my brow bone. Um, I don't want anything too bold. I just want something to make my brow bone stand out just a little and diffuse the edges of analog a little bit. Just cleaning up, cleaning up the look. And here's the final look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a beautiful festive season look as well as fall appropriate. So since Diwali is right around the corner, please feel free to create something like this. And please like, share and subscribe. And please comment and follow me on my social media right here. Bye!